going on? Uh, what's going on there, YouTubers? This is Goodwin Taylor coming back to you with a another video. Um, I touched on this briefly in my last video, the uh, Walmart dedicated four month review video. But um, it's about the Garmin Diesel, well, Diesel 785. This little beaut right here. Now she costs about uh, five hundred dollars, and there's the back of it. But this thing is pretty active. Well, accurate. Sorry, let me rephrase that. But this thing is a lot different than previous models. It's been out for a few years, so I'm pretty sure everybody pretty much knows about it, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a video about it over here on my channel. But, yeah, this is the Garmin Denzel, or Diesel, 785, however it's properly pronounced. Right here's the main screen. Now, with this one, you can set up, hang on a second, that's media volume. But you can set up, let's go to navigation, you can set up your vehicle profile. Now, here with mine, I have it set up as Michael's truck. And it has my weight limit. It also has my, how long I am, my maximum height, and how, you know, my width. You can also go down here and change it to different. Like, if your trailer is a little bit taller... Like you're a flat better and you're hauling something a little bit, you know, taller than 13.6, you can change that. Or if you're, you know, a really big, you know, you're hauling doubles and triples, you can change your all your length. <coughs> and if you're hauling more than 80,000 pounds, you can definitely change your weight on your axles, maximum speed. You know, the one thing funny here is my odometer is not, you know, <laughs> it's not up with mine right there. You can see the difference. It says 145912. Or here it says 145569. Yeah, it's a little bit off. But that does have my truck number. Trailer number's not accurate. Uh, I don't know why it still has that old trailer number. But yeah, you can change your vehicle profiling at any time. Here's another little hand interesting feature. They do have car mode on this, which means you can, you know, if you decide to go on vacation and you take this with you, you can, you know, navigate in the car, but it will not work, per se, you know, for trucks, and that's why it has the warning right there. But let's go ahead and select truck. All right, let's take it back. Another little thing is you can set your vehicle icon that will pop up on your map, and it has different ones here. You have a little car. I think that's a monster truck. Uh, <laughs> some kind of sports car. Now, there's a smart car, I call it. Your flying arrow. There's another one. The bus or van. The old time arrow. The uh, flat nose truck. Uh, we'll say the Peterbilt truck. Uh, the blue flat nose. The normal truck right there, the uh, the box van, RV, regular truck. Um, wait, I missed one there. We got this one. I guess it's the uh, handyman truck. I call it that one, and your normal van. I just like you. I use. I just usually use this one because <laughs> that's what I use. It makes more sense because you are in a truck, so why would you have your icon as anything else? But yeah, you can set your mapping options here. Um, it will, you know, uh, it has different, you know, mapping for different. I guess how to best explain this here is it it changes your map layout depending on what country you set it for. I always leave it in Garmin because I don't see any reason to change it. Map detail, it just, you know, brings up more POIs on the screen. Uh, let's see here. 
All right, I didn't get, I made this video once before, but it didn't, you know, really, it didn't really have the, it didn't record, and it didn't show some of the things I wanted it to. Like, for example, when you're connected to the Garmin SmartLink, you will get phone calls every now and again. And this shows your missed phone calls and everything like that. And it will even bring up your con your contacts that's on your phone. One drawback to this thing is is that when the Bluetooth is connected, uh, Garmin's going to pick it up. Most definitely, that's you know, it's going to happen. Another thing is your smart notifications, which right now I don't have any. I don't even know what that does, but I guess it just yeah. You can select your notifications. Um, let's go here up to navigation, your traffic provider. Now, I don't know if you've seen that, so I'll go back again, your traffic provider. This brings up the map, and you can zoom out on it. And, ah, right here, perfect. Right here. And you can hit that, you see where it has that little, you know, do not enter thing? Bring that up, and it brings up that extra ramp is closed, and you can bring it up and see where it is. Now, the traffic provider on this is really, really good. I really love it. I don't know how many times that it has saved us, and you can even sometimes, you hit this up here, it brings up incidents, and it shows you if there's any major accidents near you. I'm not even sure what legend is. Ah, oh, okay. It's, uh, it just shows you how bad it is or something like that, and it brings up icons. All right, get back to that screen. Now, another good feature I really love, especially for you over-the-road drivers, owner-operators, or guys that, you know, do long hauls, the weather option. Now, this does bring up your, your weather, like where I'm at right now in Gordonsville. It's currently 32 degrees. Today it was 50. And it says, says the low. Wow. You know, today was Tuesday. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Today... We're getting today Saturday. Tomorrow's supposed to be 50. Yeah. Yeah. I think I need to go to bed. <laughs> but, yeah, it brings up the weather. Now, you can also set in your favorite cities. This thing does have a weather radar, and it will update, as you see there. It, is, it will update according to what your phone smart link brings up, as you can see there. I don't know if it will bring up anything. It might. It's very possible it could. I don't know. But once it loads up, you can play the re the weather radar for the last hour so you can get an idea. Uh, let me get back here one. Now, weather alerts. Now, it will show watch, storm, wind, flood, winter, other, which it will be color-coded to wherever the, the warning or watch is. Uh, and the last one is my favorite, the road conditions, and this is really comes in handy. Now you see the greens for wet, the well pink and purple for ice, and the blue for snow, the or no, the orange is for fog, and the yellow for strong wind. That thing is pretty accurate on where you know how the road conditions are. Ah, see right there, it shows there's snow up in West Virginia up into Pennsylvania, and there's rain to the south of me, which, like I said, comes in really big handy when you're planning your trip. Yeah, that just mainly just shows you how the weather is for that day. The other thing this thing does is it does have a fuel journals and everything else where you can record fuel prices and things like that. And it does have service history, where you can log in your service thing. Since I'm not, uh, you know, an owner-operator, I don't really use that, but it's there for whenever you need it. Uh, this thing, since it is a tablet and it is an Android tablet, it does have the browser, calculator, downloads, email, gallery. If you have pictures and stuff, I have pictures. And now I'm not a 49ers fan, sorry. Sucks they lost the Super Bowl. 
But yeah, if you have an SD card in there, like I do, like right here, you see the SD card, you can pop that out. And, hang on one second. Yeah. You can get a SD card like this, 64 gigabyte, even, I think it's 128. And it goes in right here, just like a normal tablet. And you can insert it, and it gives you additional storage space on here, especially for, you know, your dash cam, which I'll get into that in, in just a second. Now, the drawback to this is you cannot download new apps on here. Now, it does, you know, you can go to Google Play Store and try to, but it does not let you download it. I don't know why, but Garmin just felt they did not want you downloading new apps on here. But in my opinion, it's for the best. Now, you do have an e-log on here. For all of those of you do, that use our owner-operators and run your logs, this thing will do an e-log, which, as you can see there, you have to have that in order to set it up. I do not currently have this. When do you plan on buying me this? And judging from that expression, probably never. <laughs> Whatever I want to. Claire, do you elaborate on that? Whenever I feel like it. Gee, I think you can all tell how much I'm loved. <laughs> Funny. All right, now the next part, the dash cam. Now, it will come up. I'm going to focus a little bit, sorry. It will start. There it is. It will come up and say, start video recording. Now, dash cam, we'll hit no. It will, it is a dash cam. There's your camera right there. This thing will record as long as you have it running. And it will record incidences with the truck. Like, say, if you hit a really big bump, it will record it and it will come up and you can save it. Now, any unsaved footage, you can set up to where it will be deleted, which I do because unless there's a major incident, there's no sense in having something, you know, saved because it just takes up more memory. Now, let's go to where to. Another thing is you can save addresses on here. I don't currently have any saved addresses I need to. I need to put in all my terminal information. This will bring up all of your previous, this right here, let me go back, recent. This will bring up all of your recent places you've been. As you can see, I've been up and around all of Virginia, basically, different Walmarts. Over here has categories. Now you can select the trucking and fuel station, lodging, if you, you know, <coughs> restaurants. Rest areas, bank and ATMs, medical care, shopping, parking, you name it. It's basically on here. And, yes, this thing does have four square trip advisor. Truck locations. This coming really big handy. Truck stops. Now, I've got it in map mode, but it does bring up a list. And it's all with near me. Now, if you were on a route, you see where it says my active route, my destination, upcoming exits. You can select this to... Find a truck stop that's near your route that you're going down, which for OTR drivers, yeah, trust me, that comes in handy for us. Now, I know with the new, uh, new Ram McNally's, they have a list of pilots, TAs, and Petros, but this is what I have to work with, and this do, does me pretty good. You also come up with truck washes, which first pop up is Blue Beacon. There's a lot of Blue Beacons in Virginia. It also has rest areas, parking areas, which as you can tell, there's no Walmarts on here, which I think I'll make a video about that later, about how, what I think about the Walmart parking situations, but here's another, your truck services. It shows all, if you break down the road, it shows all the ones that's going to come to you to help, you know, get you back and going. Tires, all your tire repair shops, towing, trailer repair, parts and equipment. Oh, this one's really interesting. Weight stations. Now, this one brings up all the weight stations that is around you. Although, I think it's missing one, really. There's one up there near, supposed to be near, 
Uh, oh, where is it? It's such a beer in uh, Winchester, but for some reason it's not bringing that one up. But, yeah, here's all a list of your um, weight stations. And just like with truck stops, you can hit my active route, and it will bring up if there's any weight stations along your route. Trust me, that comes in handy. Now, it also brings up scales if you need uh, scales, which I know I did. I know I know I done another video about the way my truck app and the cat scales and all that stuff. But yeah, this right here comes real big handy too. And uh, let's see what else. Your trip planner. Since I've already got this one here, this is what happens if you select a trip. This uh, you can. Like your starting location, if you have any stops like I did, I had two stops today. And then your end destination. And then up here it's going to tell you how many miles it is, how long it's going to take. And it'll even bring up a map, too, showing your route. That's your route right there. Now, I don't even know what, what the hell that even does half the time. But, yeah, you can optimize your, you know, the order of it just, you know, for faster... You can also set trip settings, you know, you can set if you want a shorter distance, off-road, straight line to the destination, which I don't know what truck driver wants to do that unless you come from Texas. <laughs> but, yeah, that's your trip planner, which that comes in handy, too. And if you have a home category, if you have a, you know, home, uh, if you have your home address put in here, you can just hit that, and it takes you right home. And if you have a route started already, just hit stop. Now, on the navigation screen, since uh, I'm currently connected to Bluetooth, you will have your trip information right here. It shows you, you know, how long, how much you've been driving. How long you've been stopped, what your maximum speed was, your moving average, your overall average, and yeah. And it will even bring up the temperature up here. Over here, you can set it for, if you're connected to your smart link like, like I am now, it will bring up all this. You can set it for different ones. Sorry, a little bit of hiccups right now. The wrench right here will bring up, if you're on the route, you can hit stop. That's your dash camera, your volume, brake plan, your brake planner. I said that wrong in the last video, too. And, yeah, if you don't hit something right away, it will go off. Your trip data and your traffic. It says no traffic reported ahead. Your Garmin e-log, change route, dispatch and track, your weather. And it will bring up the weather thing, and that comes in pretty good handy. Your photo live, I'm not too sure about this, but it comes with the Garmin package. Like, you you have to buy it, but, you know, I, it just says, you know, no cameras, you know, ahead on this road. You can hit find cameras. Oops. No, ain't what I want to do. Then you got up ahead. Truck rest areas, and it brings you to that screen. Truck re uh, truck stops, yeah, brings up all that, which is basically all this what's on this screen. Exit, exit, and yeah, then you have that. That doesn't really do anything until you're ready to go. Oh yeah, another interesting feature this thing has, like most of the Armins do, voice command. Ah, well, I probably don't want to do it since I'm connected to this phone. Voice command. Yeah. This thing does have voice command where you can talk to it, say your addresses, and things like that. But right now, it doesn't want to do it. I don't know why, but, yeah. But, yeah, this is the Garmin Diesel 785, about $500. You can get them at most truck stops. There is the 780, but the difference is the 785 will have that red strip going around along it, magnetic mount, the speaker, and yeah, that's how it looks.
It's got a seven inch screen on it and uh, the volume thing is right there. You need to turn up the volume manually right there. But you can voice command it to turn it down along with the screen brightness, which is about just like a, you know, an, a, ta a, any Android tablet. So, yeah, this is the Garmin Diesel 785. So, yeah, like I said, I've been wanting to make that video for at least a little while. I know it's boring and there's other ones out there, but, you know, I have it, so I might as well make a review about it on my, you know, my channel. Well, not her channel. I can't exclude her from it. <laughs> Even though she doesn't do hardly any, hardly any solo videos of her own. Oh, uh, right now I am sick. Not that sick. I am sick. No, you're not. Fit as a fiddle. <laughs> but uh, my review of this thing is is that it's just my. It, it is a very good GPS. It is very reliable, and um, it will get you to where you're going. That is, you know, for certain. It will get you to where you're going. Um, the uh, next thing is is that. With any GPS, play it smart. Watch where you're going because it's not going to necessarily always take you through the right areas. It will try to take you down residential sometimes, just like any other GPS. I don't know any truck GPS that's not done it at least once. So just keep that in mind. And, uh, well, until next time, y'all have a good night.